Good evening, everybody. It is gloomy out. It's been gloomy all day. I don't know because I was in my office and I don't face the window. But I did hear that from somebody. That it looked gloomy out and it was like they were complaining that it was there wasn't enough sunlight in the day. And I'm like, girl, hold on. It's about to be daylight savings time. <laughs> but we are going to do something relaxingly fun tonight. We are at, if you couldn't tell by the background yet, Wilderness Lodge. It's our favorite resort. And what are we going to do? Take as many boats as we can around Magic Kingdom area as we can fit in. So that was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I don't know if Sarah's gonna be able to use the first part of that like montage or time lapse, whatever we were gonna do. I'm but about trying to be artsy. <laughs> trying to be artsy and about a minute and a half into the ride, we find the big spider and we're like, whoa, nasty, look at that thing. But like we don't do anything. We're like, okay, it's far away, it's doing its own thing, we're not, we don't care. All of a sudden I look over and there's this spider. On the camera. Look over and this spider this hairy spider was on the camera. Then all of a sudden wrapped around it. Wrapped around it. Then all of a sudden I still see the big spider, so it's different than that spider. And then I see one or two more and I'm like, oh my god, we're like in the middle of a spider hive. So like Sarah, move to the other side. And you're not supposed to move on these boats when they're not docked. That was too creepy. So Sarah moved and then slowly like I had to get the camera, so I like detached the camera, like flicked the spider away, but it like was on a web, flew, then came back. He like ran away. Then I got the camera off and just started like hitting this camera all over it to make sure there's no spiders on it. And I debated leaving the tripod there, but we got it. <laughs> now I just feel all wiggly jiggly like there's spiders all over me. Yeah, we'll go to the contemporary yeah. cleanser, the wilderness <laughs> I think everybody needs to, to band with me and and we all need to convince Sarah that I should get one Joffrey's coffee at Disney World a day for the rest of my life. I'm just joking. Uh, there's just, you can bring your own cup like can it like Oh, at Starbucks you get like a Starbucks. 95 cent refill? Joffrey's get on that. I say that because there's a Joffrey stand right over there. I can smell. Yeah, it's, I think they're brewing a batch right now. We gotta leave before I start drooling. Um, I think we're off to a bad start for our boat tour. First a spider. First a spider. Now the rain. And now the rain. And you wanna know what else? Michelle Obama is at Coronado Springs. And where did you wanna go tonight? I suggest to go to Coronado Springs because they have the best sunsets there. And we haven't been there since we got here. We could have met Michelle Obama. Or we would have been tackled by Secret Secret Service. We have our rain coats. Yeah, we're we gonna rain coat it up. Go to the Magic Kingdom. Just for a passerby. Oh, I thought you were saying because it's raining and our boat tour has failed that we should just go hang out at the Magic Kingdom tonight. Yeah, there's a party. Are you sure there's a party? Greenhouse. What if there's not a party? Those boats over there are still going. Alright, so we got that one wrong. There's actually no boat from the Contemporary to Magic Kingdom, which kind of makes sense because you can walk. This is a sea racer. This is a sea racer. Sarah loves them. Yeah, but I'm too afraid to go on it by myself. Which is funny because I want to go on one by myself because two grown adults going on there, totally allowed, but just not a racer kind of speed, more of like a cruising speed, and I want to hit, I want to max out that speed. Oh my god, it is raining. But there's no boats from Contemporary to... Wait, should we take cover? Probably. No boats from Contemporary to Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, Magic Kingdom. I want to go home. We can go home. Sarah's all about these jams. Girl Who is this? The, I don't even know, but. Hold on, look how cute this Mickey is. <laughs> Remain on jogging route. Look at Mickey's got a little workout outfit on. 
Oh, and Sarah just did the ultimate, the universal noise for I stepped in a puddle. Sarah thrives in, in wet conditions, especially when she gets elbowed in the head. When she's backlit and looks like, like she's just a ghost. Oh, I smell garlic. Oh, I do too. This is so unexpected. We planned on not coming in the park tonight. We thought there was a Halloween party and we talked about doing restful things today. And this is gonna be restful. Um, but we were like really set on the boat tour and now that it's all rainy, that kind of foiled that plan. No, we're still gonna do the boat tour. It's just not gonna be as like hidden park. Are we still going to Grand Floridian? Oh, okay. Then. Uh, Boat tour still on. What on earth is this sign that Sarah it's just like found? It's like a warning that like your present constitutes your permission to be on. I feel like that's just, I mean let us know down below if something special happened earlier or if that's just always there to always be as like a disclaimer like we have the right to film you. So yesterday when we were at studios we talked to one of our friends who works the uh, like dinner or dessert parties at all the parks and they're expensive but you get all you can eat dessert in a great spot for the nighttime spectacular sometimes and sometimes alcohol but they've got coffee and juices and pops regardless i really want to do the happy ever after one sarah did one when she was like a little girl it was here but she doesn't really remember it so i think it'll be nice but it's just one of those things that it is a significant perk. i think it's 75 dollars a person so it's steep so it'll be like a nice treat one day yeah. and tell us if you've done it and if you like Yes. It was just like a cool experience you once. Let, put down below if you think it's if it's worth it. <laughs> Thus ends our little tour around the Magic Kingdom. Just a little just a little taste, just a little nibble of the magic. We're walking through the Emporium to uh, bypass the busy Main Street because everyone's getting, gets Macy and everyone's busy getting spots for Happy Ever After. We're not staying for that because we have a boat to take to the Grand Floridian. Let's go, where, where are we going there next? Are we going, yeah. are we going to the poly really or not? We don't necessarily need to get out of the boat. Do you want us to do like a boat ride to the Grand, the poly? Back, Back here? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. And then hop on the boat here to Wilderness Lodge. Let us know if you think. Hopefully, there's no spiders. And let us know if you think that we are absolutely ridiculous. Because I'll be honest, I know it is. But do I care? I love it. So, no. It's the honest truth. And if I could wake up every day and ride the boat from the TTC, the ferry, over to the Magic Kingdom at 6.30 in the morning as the sun rises, I'd be a happy man. We're back at the Wilderness Lodge. Look at this. Do you, are you seasick now? <laughs> Time to go home though. We're gonna have a Halloween movie marathon. By that I mean we'll probably watch one movie and fall asleep, but. Yeah. What are you gonna do? That's just what happens. We should be going to sleep anyway. So. We should be going to sleep. Do you hear that music? That is Disney World. If I ever done heard it.
Okay, so we're home for the night, but we have to do some work for the for the button club. And I wanted to show you what happens when I do this. Look how worried she gets. Eve, what's that noise? It's just this. Guys, my new sunglasses came. So I'm gonna show you them tomorrow. It wasn't sunny enough. It wasn't. It was gloomy out today, so we didn't even get to use them on my first day of owning them. But we're going to bed. It's late. Who are we seeing tomorrow? Kenny G. Awesome. Where are we taking advantage of each of the beat more mm -hmm. than we did when we lived here before at this time? So I'm pumped for Kenny G. Our friend Jill that you've seen before is gonna meet up with us. Sarah has no idea what to expect. <laughs> I have no Kenny. idea. You have no idea what to expect from Kenny G. I was like, what songs is he singing? And he's just like, he's a saxophone player. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>